Hello friends. In our last video, we discussed cantilever carrying point loads. In this video, we are going to find out the shear force and bending moment for a cantilever beam which carries uniformly distributed load throughout its length. Now the orientation of cantilever beam is given as shown in figure. Let us now solve this problem. The usual sign convention upward positive, downward negative for shear force. For bending moment clockwise is positive to the left, counterclockwise is positive to the right. The method is the same. Now what I am going to do, I am going to take a section x distance from free end, I call it A and call it B. This is the section. I have passed. Now, to the section, I have a uniformly distrib dis distributed force like a rectangle. Right? It is W, W kilonewton per meter, and to the length of X. So, how do we find out? How do we change the uh, UDL? into point load. The point load will be acting at the mid that's through the centroid. This is the point load. Right? So it is W and it is X. So it is the area W in the X. It is kilo Newton per meter. It is meter. So, meter meter gets cancelled. It becomes kilo Newton. So, this load is W in the X. That is the point load. So, the UDL is changed into point load and it is passing through the mid. I have now placed it. It is W in the X. Now, to the section, left side, I have only one force W X. So only these uh, W spread over X distance is changed into W X. So, the W is not available now. That is what we have to understand. So, to the section, left hand side, we have only one force WX and to the left, upward is positive. Since it is downward, the shear force VX is negative W into X. It is a linear function. So, I apply the boundary condition at x equal to 0, v a equal to 0. At x equal to l, I am at v is minus w l. Fine. Now, the bending moment. mx equal to this is the shear force uh, this is the four point load and the perpendicular distance is given here it is x by x by 2 so it is x by 2 the perpendicular distance is x by 2 so to the left clockwise is positive it is going to produce anti-clockwise moment 
So negative W x into x by 2 is the perpendicular distance. So minus W x square by 2, it is a parabolic function. So at x equal to 0, m b m a equal to 0, at x equal to l, m b equal to minus w l square by 2. Right? We have found out the shear force and bending moment for this given V. Now I am going to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So negative A B. So at A it is 0, at B W into L the variation is linear. So W L negative. Right? So D V by DX equal to minus W. This is the expression we have. Now see the relation. When it is uniform or constant throughout the length, okay, the slope in the shear force diagram is also constant. So here the straight line slope is constant, right? Now we will draw the bending moment diagram that is also negative. So I am using here A, B. Now at A, MA is 0. At B, we have this much. So 0. What is the variation? Variation is parabolic. The variation is parabolic. And it is W L square by 2. Negative. See here, dm by dx equal to v. Since v, the shear force value is increasing, the slope will also increase in the bending moment diagram. So when we compare these two, when you see a straight line here, or the value of shear force is increasing, the curve will be parabolic, one order higher, and the slope is keep changing. It is not the same slope or constant slope. It is increasing in the negative direction. Okay. So this is how you can compare uh, the load shear force and bending moment. I hope you would have understood the shear force and bending moment uh, diagrams. Thank you.